Google has just killed Calendly, and this is no joke. As a free or paid Google user, you now have access to a free custom appointment scheduling form that can be found directly inside the free Google Calendar app. Not only do you have complete freedom to customize your availability, meeting location, description, and reminders, but you can also collect payments in advance. How cool, right? So today I'm going to launch into this new Google Calendar feature and show you how to set up your own shareable appointment booking form for free without needing to use the dozens of now obsolete paid appointment booking tools. Okay, so with that covered, let's go ahead and dive into this tutorial. Now to access your free Google Calendar appointment scheduling form, simply head over to the Calendar app. You can either locate the Calendar app by navigating up to Apps, which you can find in the top right hand corner of any Google app. Then navigate down and locate Calendar, or head over to your web browser and type in calendar.google.com. You can also download the Google Calendar app on your mobile device. Okay, so here we are in the web version of Google Calendar. Let's go ahead and close this and then navigate over to Create and you'll see this option here, Appointment Schedule. And this allows us to create a free appointment scheduling form that we can share with our contacts. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, this is a new Google feature. Google never used to have the option to create a standalone booking or scheduling form. In the past, you would have to use a third-party tool like Calendly and then connect these third-party appointment booking tools with your Google Calendar. However, these tools are now obsolete because this feature is now built into your Google Calendar app. And you can also collect payments in advance, which we'll talk about shortly. Now, it's important to note that with a completely free Google account, you have access to one booking appointment form, and you can customize this one form the way that you like. Also, with a free Google account, you cannot collect payments. However, if you do want to start collecting payments, all you need to do is upgrade your plan. Again, I'll talk about this soon. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up our appointment scheduling form. Simply add a title. I'm going to add strategy session. Then navigate down and choose the appointment duration. How long are each of your appointments going to last? I'm happy with one hour. Then navigate down to general availability. This is your booking appointment schedule for this particular appointment form. Here we have the days. I'm happy with Monday through to Friday, 9 a.m. through to 5 p.m. However, let's say Wednesdays I'm busy, so what we can do is click unavailable all day, or if we want to add a particular time block within this day that we are available for this particular appointment, I can click here, and let's change the time to 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Okay, so take the time to add your availability here, and this is per week. We can also navigate up to repeat weekly, and we can choose does not repeat, or if I want this schedule to repeat weekly, all I would do is click repeat weekly, and we also have the option to customize. For example, this appointment schedule in particular could have a custom reoccurrence of every two weeks. Again, we can change that here if we like, as well as a start and end date. Okay, I'm going to cancel this and keep this appointment schedule set to repeat weekly. Then navigate down the page, add your time zone. This will be based on your account settings. However, you can change this if you like for this particular appointment scheduling form. You also have access to set up a scheduling window. At the moment, that's set to 60 days in advance to four hours before. So this appointment schedule will show 60 days into the future and my availability can be booked four hours beforehand. If we click this drop down, we can change that here, minimum time before the appointment start that it can be booked. I'm happy with four hours. And then the maximum time in advance is 60 days. Again, I'm happy with that. And you can see I'm available now. I can add a start and end date. Then navigate down to adjusted availability. Here you can add times that you're available for specific dates. If we come down and click on change a date availability, we can come down and choose the 27th, which is two weeks from now. And let's say I'm on holiday on this particular day. So I'm going to block off this day. And you can add more specific dates if you want to customize your availability. Then navigate down to booked appointment settings and click here. Here you can add a buffer time between appointments. This is best practice. So I'm going to select this and then change the time to 15 minutes. I only need 15 minutes to prepare for each meeting between meetings. Down here, you can add your maximum bookings that you want to allow per day. And then below this, we have the option to allow guests to invite others. I'm going to turn this off because this is just a one-on-one -on -one meeting. And then come down to calendars. And essentially, you just wanna make sure that this is checked so that you're not creating double bookings. Okay, so once you've filled out this information, come down and click on next. Navigate up to booking page, photo and name. This will be the branding identity that will show up on your form. With a free Google account, you have limited branding customizations. 
then come down to location and conferencing. Would you like to meet in person via phone or video conference? Come down and select how and where you want to meet. For this particular meeting type, strategy session, this is going to be a Google Meet video conferencing call. And as you can see, a Google Meet link will be generated after a booking has been made. Come down and add a description about this particular booking type. And as you can see, I've added a brief description about my strategy session. You can also play around with the formatting and include links in your description if you like. Then come down to the booking form. These are the form fields that your recipients will see when making a booking with you. So at the moment we have first name, last name, email address. We can come down and add another item. At the moment we have phone number selected, click here, and we can add a custom item. For example, business name, this is going to be required and then add item. I'm going to add one more item. Again, navigate up here, select custom item, and this is going to be website URL. And again, this is going to be required. Down here, you can choose to require email verification. I'm going to keep that unselected. Then navigate down to payments and cancellation policy. Again, like I mentioned, if you're using a paid Google Workspace account, you can connect Stripe and start collecting payments before you engage in a meeting, before a successful booking. For example, if I navigate up here, this is a strategy session. So I want to collect payments in advance because this is a paid consultation. Now, if you do not see the option payments and cancellation policy, and you are using a standard or above Google Workspace paid account, then you'll need to reach out to your admin to enable the ability to capture payments. All your admin needs to do is within the admin dashboard, they need to navigate over to menu, then apps, then Google Workspace, then locate calendar and advanced settings. They will see the option under appointment schedules with payments to turn this on or off. Once your admin has turned this on for the account, you will then be able to see this option. Okay, so let's go ahead and connect Stripe because I wanna collect payments for this strategy session. Now that's gonna take you to your Google Calendar settings and then automatically take you down to the bottom, appointment schedules, where we can connect Stripe. Hey guys, just quickly before we get back to this video, I just wanna mention my Sheetify CRM, an all-in-one business toolkit and CRM built with Google Sheets and designed for Google users. You can simply manage leads, customers, tasks, engage in email marketing, manage your inventory, tickets, and more. The great part is I've made this Sheetify CRM a one-time payment, no subscriptions, unlimited access, and future updates. If you're interested in learning more, you can find the link to my Sheetify CRM down below in the description. Okay, so with that covered, let's go ahead and get back to this video. Then if you already have a Stripe account, go ahead and add your email associated with your Stripe account. Now creating a Stripe account is completely free. If you wanna learn more about Stripe, what I'll do is add a tutorial up above and down below in the description that will dive deeper into setting up Stripe and how you can collect payments using Stripe. Once you've added your Stripe email, come down and click on submit and then add your password. And again, submit. Then once you've navigated through the simple step-by-step -step process of connecting your Stripe account, that's going to automatically take you back to the Google Calendar settings. Now what you want to do is head back to the most recent tab that you had opened when setting up your appointment scheduling form. So here we are. What we're going to do is navigate down and click on Save for Now, and then navigate back up to Edit, come down and click on Next, and locate Payments and Cancellation Policy again. And now we will see this option as we've already gone ahead and connected Stripe. Do we want to require payment when booking? I'm going to select yes, then add the amount, which is 195 USD. Again, you can change the currency here if you like. Then come down and add your cancellation policy. Okay, so I've quickly added a basic cancellation policy. However, you want to take the time to add your own custom cancellation policy. You want to explain your cancellation and refund policy. This will appear on your booking form and in email reminders. And last, what we wanna do is navigate down to booking confirmations and reminders. Here we have a calendar invitation notification. You and the person who made the appointment will get a confirmation email with a calendar invitation. Ideally, you wanna keep this selected. Then we have an email reminder here. The person who made the appointment will get a reminder email before the appointment. And you can choose when that reminder is sent. I'm going to select one hour before. You can also add additional reminders if you're using a paid Google Workspace account. If you're using a free Google Workspace account, you do not have access to add custom reminders. I'm happy with 10 minutes before too. Then come down and click on save. Then what we can do is simply locate an appointment schedule and we have these options here. We can further customize this appointment scheduling form. We can also open up the booking page and we can click share 
and we can share the link to all appointment schedules. However, if you're using a free Google account, then you can only create one single booking page and you'll only see this option. So as you can see, I have this selected a single booking page and we have strategy session selected. This is the appointment booking schedule that I just set up. And then we have the link down here, simply navigate down to copy link and you can share this link across social media, send it to your contacts, send it via email or embed this booking form on your website by simply navigating up to website embed. And here we have a few options. We can embed a button with pop-up, add a button to your website that opens up a pop-up with your booking page, or you can embed an inline booking page, embed the booking page directly onto your website where you want it to appear. Simply come down and click on copy code and you can embed that form into your website. Now let's navigate down to done and open up this booking page. And as you can see, this is what this booking page looks like. We have the description, the title, details about this particular strategy session. The user or the recipient that opens up this booking form can choose a day and time, and then they would add these details in here. For example, let's test this out. Remember, because we set up a paid booking form. This is my business name. I'm also going to add my website URL and then click on check out and book. And as you can see, that's going to take that individual to this payment page, this payment wall, where they need to add their payment details and make this advanced payment before booking this strategy session with me. Okay, so let's head back. So as you can see, this booking page, this booking form is clean, easy to use and professional. Let's head back to our Google Calendar interface. Now, like I mentioned, you can also see all your booking pages. If we click here, and this is going to take you to all the Google Calendar appointment scheduling that you've set up. We've got strategy session and branding consultation here. However, you now know how to set up appointment scheduling forms inside Google Calendar, which eliminates the need to use third-party tools like Calendly. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Google Calendar tutorial showing you how to set up the new and free appointment booking form found directly inside the Google Calendar app. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial make sure to pop them down below and with that said thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.